Now to YouTube. Okay, I'm getting ready to etch some glasses. I'm gonna do this as a birthday gift for a friend of mine, and I'm gonna go through the steps with you from designing the stencil that I'm gonna use using this Dollar Tree book cover, but it's actually vinyl. So I'm gonna place that on my Cricut mat, and I'm going to cut out the stencil and apply it to this glass. And then I'm gonna use the Armor Etch to etch his logo onto this glass. And the rubbing alcohol, of course, is to prep the surface so that it's a nice, sterile, clean surface that so that the Armor Etch can stick on it well. Okay, so here we go. And of course, I'm gonna use cheap vinyl. Hopefully it works. We'll, we'll, we'll see, but here we go. Here we go, let's go to Design Space. I'm in the blank canvas. I'm going to upload the design, which I have here. I'm gonna go through the steps with you. A cut image, I'm gonna hit insert. And here it is, and I've already made my measurements. So I'm going to make it about three inches. I'm gonna unlock it, make it about three inches wide. And three inches high and that's good and now I'm going to go to shapes I'm going to insert this box which fits over it nicely but I'm gonna move the box send it to the back and now that these two sh are selected I'm gonna hit shift okay. now both logo and the box have been selected and I'm gonna go to slice and now I've sliced and removed the design from this box well I've actually cut a piece of it so now I'm gonna and I have a little bit of room so I'm gonna undo that and move the box or the, move the logo up so that it fits perfectly in the center slice the two images and so now I have three different images and this is the one that I want this is the one that I'm gonna use as my stencil so I'm gonna delete these delete that I'm going to duplicate, duplicate four times. So my Cricut will cut out the shape, and then this is what I'm going to adhere to my glasses, and then I'm going to use that as my stencil. my book cover slash Dollar Tree vinyl onto the Cricut mat and I'm going to take it over to the Cricut. Make it. 
continue. Choose my materials, which is a vinyl. It. Make sure it didn't sit there too long. I'm trying to be very careful, especially when I'm close to the edges. And I'm dabbing, I'm trying not to swipe. Because I don't want to move this vinyl out of position. Looks good to me. I'm gonna let that sit while I work on applying my next stencil. So that's the first glass done, but um, as I moved on to applying the vinyl onto the other glasses, I did find some difficulty in using this Dollar Tree vinyl. So I did end up using a Cricut vinyl and it weeded much easier and it laid on the glasses much smoother. And I was very pleased with the turnout. I let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes and that was the finished product. I was very pleased. My friend was very pleased with the turnout and I can't wait to etch more glasses. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want more. See you again. Have a wonderful one.